Hello, my students. How are you? Let's see today's story. Today's story is Firefighter by Angela Royston. And we know that this is the name of the author. And we know that ha, the author is what? Is the name of... Excellent. Excellent is the author. The author is the writer of the story or is the name of the writer of the story. Let's see the journal of the story. It's literary non-fiction. Literary non-fiction tells about a true event or series of events like a story. So it may be one event or like series. Many events happen next to each other. After each other, sorry. Like a story. Look for the true events in the day of a firefighter. The bigger question, question of the week. Why should we, re why should we be responsible huh, for doing a good job? Why should you do a good job? Let's read the story together. It is busy at the fire station. Even when there is no fire, Liz is checking the hoses. She wants to make sure they screw tightly to the truck. Dan is polishing the fire truck wheels. Anthony is upstairs in the kitchen looking for a snack. He's always hungry. Suddenly, a loud noise makes him jump. Here we know that the fire, the fire station is always, ha, is always busy. They do not sit and have no job like inside. So they have job inside and outside. Liz, this is the girl, Liz is checking what is checking the horses. The horses, okay? Also, here we have Dan is polishing is polishing the truck, the truck wheels. Anthony, we know that he's upstairs and we will see what happens. Then how can we know him? Then suddenly we said a low a loud noise huh, makes him jump. Ring 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 What's this? Yes, it is the fire alarm. Anthony slides down the pole. Now we know that this is Anthony because he slides he's sliding down. Thud thought this is the sound when someone jump. Like he makes sound, okay? He lands hard, but the thick rubber pad on the ground cushions his feet. So here he jumped like hard, but here, can you see this one? This thing that we call, we call, we call it the rubber, the rubber, the rubber bat. This is the rubber bat. This is the rubber bat. When Anthony jumped on it, huh? It cushions his feet. That means. Uh, let him land safely. Protect his feet. Okay? So this word means protect. Write it down on your book. Protect. Okay? Let's complete. Here. Let's jump into her boots. And pulls her pulls up. Her fireproof pants. She checks, huh? She checks the computer. Why she checks the computer? Let's see why. It shows the fire is at Seven Oak Lane. So here, huh? To know where should she go, where should she drive? She should check the computer, okay? So it's a big city, of course. And then the fire is on on a house or on a maybe a building but how shall we know shall she know that um uh, now 
But now, Liz jumps into her boots and pull up her fireproof pants. She checks the computer. It shows the fire is at 7 Oak Lane. So why she checks the computer? To know the location. Where is exactly, exactly the place that's in, on fire? Okay. In the truck, Liz grabs the walkie-talkie. As you can see, this is, huh? Sorry, this is, um, this is, um, this is Liz talking to, to the, uh, to the chief. Okay, here, Liz grabs the walkie-talkie. She's asked now. She's talking, right? Because we know this quotation marks means someone is talking. Chief Miller. We are on our way. Right, says the fire chief. And we know the word chief means like the leader of the group, okay? So here we have a leader. The chief of the, the firefighters is called Miller. And he's the leader. Chief here, word chief means the leader. He has gone huh, ahead in a special fa fast car. So, ha, huh, this is his car that's fast, faster than the truck, the big truck. Okay? Uh, I'll meet you there. Let's start the engine as the firefighters jump in. She flips. She flips on the siren and lights and drives out of the firehouse can you see now she opened them um, this is the siren this is the siren the things that that warn people that there is huh yes there is a f firefighters on the way Woo! this is the siren okay the truck speeds toward the fire Cars and buses stop and wait when they hear the siren coming. So people now aware that if the fire truck, firefighter trucks, firefighter's truck comes like on the street, on the road, that means there's emergency. They should stop. They should move from its way. Okay. Here. The fire the fire chief calls Liz. So the chief, the leader, calls Liz. I'm at the fire scene. It's an old house that's been huh, that's been empty for years. But someone saw a young boy playing on the porch. A porch is like like uh, an area in front of the house. Like people mostly sit on it and have breakfast or lunch, have food on it. And it has some chairs. This morning, playing on the porch this morning, he might be inside the house. Now huh, all of the firefighters team are afraid for the boys, for the boy, that boy. He might be inside the house. Tell Dan and Anthony to get their air trucks, air tra air tanks ready. So now, if they, if the firefighters want to go inside the fire, uh, the burning house, they should what? They should wear air tanks. They should have air tanks to let them breathe. Otherwise, they will be huh. They will die. Uh, here. Okay, chief, says Liz. I can see the smoke from here. We will be there in two minutes. So here it should be like fast, as fast as they 
as they can okay and as you can see here Liz is driving Liz the girl is driving and this is chief this is chief Miller that goes inside a fast uh, engine it's not them like the slow truck let's move to the next page Liz turns the corner into Oak Lane. Now Liz on the street, then she turns the corner. The corner, this is the corner. And she turns what? The corner. Flames cover the top of the house. Flames it is other meaning of the word fire. Write it down on your book, okay? The fire is spreading quickly like moving spreading like moving becomes bigger and bigger okay bigger there is no time to lose so if they waste time it will be what it will be a problem maybe the the other houses next to this house will be burned like like it. Liz hoax huh, a hose a hose from the truck to the nearest fire hydrant. We know the word hydrant. Do you remember it? So yes. So it's like like we can't find it next to the street. It's red. Okay, here it's like this. It is red like this. Yes. Like not like good enough in but it's like this. You can find it mm, on the street. Then a pump on the truck pulls water from the hydrant to another uh hose. So here Another hose, they put here the pump. The pump is machine that takes from the hydrant and then shh, let it in the hose, like in a strong in a strong way. Liz and another firefighter point the hose at the flames at the fire. Ready. Calls Les. Shh. Now they are. Uh, yes, the water starts to what? To come to come out of the uh, of the hose. They hold on tight as the water shoots out. It comes out of a fire hose hard enough to knock a person down so the hose shot the hose shot is so strong Shh. so if a person is standing here in front of this hose maybe huh maybe he or she will will fall down will fall down As you can see, it's strong. This water is strong. 